Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm bringing to you a vlog. I hear you loud and clear. I know you guys want more vlogs. So I'm just kind of sharing with you my daily routine, which involves making breakfast and some errands and just like prepping myself. I want to give a huge shout out to Clarence for sponsoring a portion of today's video, today's vlog. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So we have an everything bagel with onion and chive cream cheese and some iced coffee. So I'm on my way to the salon right now to get a much needed haircut and keratin treatment. It's been a minute. My hair has gotten really, really long and it just needs like a refresh on the layers. So I got a haircut maybe like four or five months ago at just like my regular spot where I get like blowouts. But it was just to trim my ends and my hair has already grown a ton. I typically get a keratin treatment about twice a year, so every six months. But because of COVID and quarantine, I haven't gotten one done. So my hair definitely has been getting frizzy again at the top. So basically all of the new growth on top of my head has been getting frizzy, which is like my natural texture. I have naturally like wavy, but very, very frizzy hair. So that's why I like getting keratins because it just helps with the frizz control. It leaves my hair super shiny, silky. And when I air dry my hair, it just dries really, really nicely. And most of the times I don't have to use any heat on it so in the beginning when i get the keratin i don't have to use like a straightener which i love because i can just air dry it and go so it's about time and we are gonna go get right i'm probably gonna be in there for a couple of hours because it's not a quick process like kieran really takes his time with his haircuts he will literally get on his knees and cut your hair because he loves hair and his passion is hair i'm about to get dropped off at the salon so let's go get our hair done She is shiny. Who is she? Lens is dirty. Hold up. Much better. Hello. Good morning. Is it morning? It's not morning. It's afternoon. Good afternoon. I'm sitting down. I'm about to get ready for my day slash evening, I guess you can say. So my friend Brendan and his girlfriend are picking me up in a few. And I am just going to get ready and kind of walk you through the process of just putting on a little bit of makeup because, I don't know, I just feel like it. Lip balm first because I feel a little dry and a little crusty. And some eye drops. I love these eye drops. Those eye drops instantly brighten your eyes and just make them look whiter and brighter. And I just love the effect. So it's super important for me to do my skincare as soon as I get out of the shower because my skin is a bit on the drier side. Like I've been exfoliating and doing masks because my skin was actually peeling. But what has been helping is using a serum day and night. And the one that I've been using for about two weeks now is this Clarins Double Serum. I actually used to use this back in the day, back when I was in Jackson Heights. I remember, I think it was my girl Mel who had posted about it and then I went out and bought it because she was raving about it and I remember loving it and I went through the bottle. So I'm super excited because this portion of today's video is sponsored by Clarins. But y'all know I wouldn't talk about anything that I don't actually love and actually use. You can actually adjust how much product is dispersed so up at the top you can just turn it if you want more product or if you want less in the daytime i keep it on the lesser side just because i really don't need that much i'm going to apply it with the clarins method which is basically just like pressing it in it leaves you this gorgeous glow i don't know if it's just me but i don't remember it smelling this good it smells just super refreshing it's like a light floral you guys know i don't really do fragrance in my products but this is just like a light scent and i really enjoy applying it because it just kind of makes me feel good because it smells really really good the glow in person is even stronger but i'm looking in the viewfinder and you can see that my skin is glowing i do have a couple of like active pimples like a couple of little trouble spots some breakouts happening i think it's because of the change of weather it's getting chilly out like it's literally sweater weather outside but also because of the constant mask wearing like mask me is that how you say it mask me is a thing mask acne it's totally a thing like i have been breaking out kind of where the mask sits our skin needs to breathe so constantly wearing a mask 
it's definitely causing a lot of skin issues for people like a lot of people have a lot of dry skin right now and i feel like quarantine really got people to get on their skincare game and i'm one of them because i go in like waves sometimes i'm super on top of my skincare game and then other times i'm just like the most simplest person and i just want like a minimal routine but i feel like this product is perfect for either like if you're a minimalist skincare kind of person or if you like doing the most because you can use this day and night and it doesn't leave you sticky so if you use it in the day you can actually use it under makeup so first I apply my serum then I apply my moisturizer and then I'll put my makeup on and it's totally fine with this or you can wear no makeup with this because it does leave you glowing and if you're feeling extra you can use it at night and I love that it has turmeric my dad puts turmeric in everything I've seen so many DIY masks including turmeric because it's just like a powerhouse ingredient it's so great for like discoloration hyperpigmentation but it also has some other bomb ingredients so there's like mango in here kiwi avocado banana oats there's actually 21 plant ingredients in this serum Clarence has been in the game for a minute like I feel like you can really trust Clarence when it comes to their skincare because they've been doing it for so long so this double serum is half water half oil so it's hydrating your skin but it's also helping with again the fine lines wrinkles but also with the elasticity so that's something that I suffer with I feel like my skin loses elasticity very quickly partially because I'm always fluctuating in my weight so when it's going up and going down constantly I feel like the elasticity is being lost so I feel like the serum has been helping me feel tighter instantly you're gonna get that glow but within a week of using it you're definitely gonna notice like a brighter tighter appearance yes moisturizers they moisturize and they hydrate and cleansers at the end of the day they just get washed off but you really want to incorporate some skincare in your regimen that have some really really great ingredients and your serum is actually going to allow your other skincare items like your moisturizers to work better so definitely get into using a serum next we're going to apply some moisturizer today I'm going to follow up with the Clarins multi active moisturizer this is for all skin types this moisturizer is non comedogenic which is important for me because I break out very easily it's supposed to help with like environmental stressors which living in New York I feel like I can use all of that this helps with dryness and also with fine lines and wrinkles and so combined this is a great combo normally I would just walk out like this because the skin is glowing baby she feels good but I'm gonna apply a little bit of makeup but again like on a typical day if I'm running errands you can catch me outside with no makeup especially with the whole mask situation like I just can't be bothered but today I'm gonna do just like a quick light makeup nothing too crazy I mean let's see because I always say that and then it turns into a whole full face but honestly when your skin is glowing like you don't want to suffocate it with a ton of makeup so i'm probably just going to do like a base nothing on the eyes so let's go ahead and get into this quick natural saturday beat So I did get a keratin treatment yesterday so my hair is extra silky because it is like 
perfectly flat ironed and i also got a haircut so cut off about like two inches off my hair and it just feels so good so as you can see the makeup laid beautifully over the serum and the moisturizer i went with a matte foundation that's because i personally love matte foundations but i feel like if you want a dewy look you can use the double serum a moisturizer and then just like not powder your face and you're gonna have like an intense glow but y'all know i'm like a matte girl i'm going to pick up a little bit around the apartment get dressed and hopefully by then brendan will be here so i can eat something because your girl is hungry i had a client earlier what did i eat today oh i ate a little bit of mangu which was really really good oh my god i actually didn't finish it because my client got here a little bit early so i only ate like a quarter of it but that's probably why i'm really hungry right now so let's clean up change and enjoy our saturday the aftermath of a glance we're about to fix this up Super duper random but these are the baby wipes that i use i have an allergy or like a sensitivity to most baby wipes so i have to use water wipes and i really love these i get them at target they're 99.9 percent .9 water the big box usually lasts me quite a while it comes with so many and i just love also that it's white and it's just like very compact the wipes themselves are like strong and they don't deteriorate easily i hate that like when a wipe is too thin and it just has like the perfect amount of like moisture because some water wipes are either too dry or too wet and then at Target I also picked up another razor because mine actually broke I really only needed the handle but this one comes with the two refills I also picked up this lipstick from NYX in Dainty Days I haven't tried it yet but I think I saw someone on Instagram like swatching it and it looked really really nice it looked like a nude that I would like I'll probably wear this the next time I do my makeup and then this Febreze odor eliminator this is just to give the fall clothes that I'm bringing out just like a refresh like the sweaters and stuff like that if I'm not going to dry clean it right away just a quick way to like freshen it up and give it a nice smell and then anytime I see a multi-surface wipe and if I smell it and it smells good and I like it I always pick it up because I feel like you can never have enough multi-surface cleaning wipes they're just super handy to clean up like a quick mess and this is the lemon and mint from Everspring it cuts grease and grime it's just easier than like spraying and using a bounty because I feel like I go through bounty way too quickly like paper towel so I love that these are just a little bit stronger and already have the solution on them i always have to pass the home decor section even though i'm not really looking for anything specifically people are already decorating for halloween and stuff like that i figured i would pass by and i found these really cute pumpkins so i got this one which was 15 dollars, and it's just a woven pumpkin from the threshold brand and i thought it was so cute and i love that it's a neutral color but i just love the woven like basket style of these pumpkins this one is a little bit darker kind of reminds me of the color of the basket that I have my blankets in. I just thought it was so stinking cute. This one was I think 10, yep, $10 again from Threshold. And then we have the little baby, the little mini pumpkin, which was so cute. And this one was $5, so 5, 10, and 15, so depending on the size, but don't they look so cute together? This is a vibe, tell me not. And then the last piece that I got is this really cute bowl. I just thought it was so pretty, like the color of it, the texture. This is from the Studio McGee collection. It was $20 dollars and it's just a wooden bowl i just love the color of it i think i'm gonna switch out this like silver bowl that i have in my kitchen for this one just to bring a little bit more of like this wooden element into my kitchen i want to kind of make my kitchen a little bit more like homey slash neutral i've also been thinking of just like removing my microwave and just like getting rid of it because i just have way too many appliances out a toaster oven a microwave and my nespresso all next to each other is just too much so now that i've been using my air fryer more and i kind of hide my air fryer i feel like i could just do away with my microwave i don't know i have like an attachment to my microwave because some things you just need a microwave i don't know random but i do want to kind of make my kitchen a little cuter i do have to go to target again so maybe i'll find some more fall decor i also kind of want to get a wreath for my door i don't know what do you guys think about wreaths like are they kind of
kind of pointless. I don't really have anyone ever coming over, but I guess it would just be for me. But like decorating a door can seem kind of silly because it's like on the outside of your apartment or your house. Like I guess if I had a house and I had a lot of people coming over, that would be nice and like I would decorate the outside of my house because it's mine, but this is an apartment. So I don't know how I feel about like door decorations on apartments. Same with kind of like doormats. It's kind of silly if you like splurge on one. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. This is what I got from Target. Water wipes, regular wipes. And some cute pumpkins for fall because I gotta embrace it even though I'm not ready to go summer fall is here and I just gotta accept it so it is what it is I'm ready to go sandals are from nasty gal American Eagle jeans of course top is also nasty gal has a really cute detailing with a tie on the shoulders and I'm bringing my jean jacket because I know it's gonna get cold and I'm rocking my Celine today let's go oh. that was my blurry <laughs> boo to get something to eat. We are going to Dykeman. This is Brendan's old stopping ground. <laughs> Body Works run was successful. I am on my way out. We are gonna go get this one nail fixed. I always break my thumb on my right hand because it's what I use to open things. And I'm trying to grow my nails out again. I stopped doing the bio sculpture on my nails, which is what I was doing for a really long time, like that Japanese gel. It allowed my nails to get really long, but the process of removing it is just too thick. Like when I would remove it, my nails would be okay. But if I left them bare without that gel, they would be super weak. So I'm trying just to use regular OPI gel at the salon and i'm just trying to grow them out and i feel like this is just a little bit less of a harsh gel on my nails it's just thinner it's a whole struggle with nails i feel like you just can't win acrylics gel they ruin your nails even the dip powder like people swear by dip powder but it's like the dip powder is only good when you have it on when you take the dip powder off in my experience is that they're still weak it really depends on how the gel is removed i feel like that's like the most crucial thing when it comes to nail health if a nail tech files too deep like on your actual nail bed that's when the damage occurs but i feel like either way there's gonna be damage and i have tried using regular polish but because my nails are so weak and brittle it does not last so i have to get them strong first and then i can start doing like regular polish i suck at painting my own nails so i have to go to the salon and it just sucks now because i'm going to a new spot in the city it's just so time consuming me to go all the way to the city like midtown to get one nail fix and then i'll be back there next week to get them all done honestly it's not too bad but it's just bothering me and i kind of want to do like a little bit of an extension so that they can match the other ones they're not too long but we're gonna go do that first world problems right rose right <laughs> and then i'm gonna go do my eyebrows i do still have to go to target i've been saying i have to go to target and then i have to come back and just like clean up I feel like I've just neglected my apartment. At one point, I was super, super anal about cleaning and like tidying up and I've just been more relaxed now, but it still gives me anxiety to think that I'm not cleaning as often as I used to. I also have a giveaway that I have to post. I have some like emails to do. So I have a lot to do today and it's already, I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 11.30. I wanted to be out of the house by like 10. I'm going to attempt to vlog maybe my eyebrows. I don't think I'll vlog the one nail getting fixed, but I'll try to vlog at the eyebrow salon. Although one time I tried and they were like, mm -mm, no filming. So I feel like a lot of places indoors, you are not allowed to film, even at like stores. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna bring my camera anyway. Let's get into this productive Thursday. It's just embarrassing to me. The most embarrassing thing just happened to me. I was on Yelp looking for a breakfast call, even though it's 1 30 in the afternoon, and I found a spot called Friedman's and I saw that they had really good French toast and I was like interested in it. I'm totally sitting at a different spot. And I'm literally here ordering breakfast at this spot that sells like 
broth. It's like oysters and drinks and beers and like they're making an exception and making me their breakfast. But it's not like they're not serving breakfast right now. But the waitress was so sweet. I was just too embarrassed once I realized to like get up and leave. But I'm supposed to be like a few steps down. I'm gonna show you right now where I am and where I'm supposed to be. But I mean it's still gonna be good regardless because I feel like you can't really mess up a breakfast. But I just got like scrambled eggs, potatoes, and toast. But I originally wanted French toast. But yeah, I'm totally at the wrong spot. <laughs> I don't know how. I mean, I looked at the name and I was just like, oh, maybe it's like a hotel. And it's like a restaurant part of I don't know what I was thinking. It's just, my mind is off. But this outdoor eating thing, it really confuses me. Because if they're right next to each other, you'll be sitting at the wrong spot. You're not paying attention. So, there's that. So I am here and I'm supposed to be there. Literally just like one address away. <laughs> Custom breakfast. They don't even have this right now. Eggs, potatoes, some toast, and avocado. No video. So I just finished getting my eyebrows done. I feel normal again. I didn't have that much, but my eyebrows have come a long way, guys. I had no eyebrow, like zero eyebrow before. So I get my eyebrows threaded. Nothing fancy, nothing too crazy, just literally to take out any stray hairs that grow. But I have gotten my eyebrows microbladed a couple of times by the eyebrow doctor, Pyrette. She's amazing. I haven't gotten them touched up in over a year. I feel like it's a lot easier to grow your eyebrows after you get them microbladed because you're not getting them done as often. So I'm actually heading to my old building, my old apartment, to pick up any packages that I may have. I like to come like every other month because believe it or not, packages still come here years and years later. I moved to Florida, then moved back to New York, and I'm still getting packages at my first address. So because I moved to the Bronx, anytime I come to do my eyebrows in Queens and Jackson Heights, I just make it a point to stop at my old apartment. I get my eyebrows done though, I would say like yeah, I would say like once a month now. I used to go every other week like clockwork, but I feel like that was thinning on my eyebrows and nobody got time for that living in the Bronx to come to Queens just for a quick threading. So I'll tweeze like here and there, but I like to get them threaded at least once a month or else I start to feel like not myself. Usually the porters hold my packages here at my old apartment. I mean, my family has had the apartment that I lived in for a really long time. We gave it up. We were just renting. We pretty much like passed down that apartment. I get a lot of questions on that, like why we gave it up, but we didn't own it, we were just renting, but my family has history in this building, so the porters are really nice, you know, they hold me down and they usually hold my packages. But sometimes they'll give it to my old neighbor, who also we're really close to. It's pretty much like a family friend, and she's the sweetest, she's always super sweet to me, to my whole family. She would like cook for my mom and I, and even when I come by now, like I'm always there for a few hours, we like to talk a lot, she's super sweet, so I might go see her, because she might have some packages for me. Usually she'll have like a bag set aside with the packages. So that's what I'm doing. Do you guys remember that big mirror? They used to be here. Oh my God, the infamous mirror. They took it out and they put this. They need that mirror back because clearly when I left, they took out the mirror. I'm just saying. <laughs> I guess they put that mirror, but it's not the same. I miss coming out and just hearing this and seeing this, but everything happens for a reason. So I just got in from outside. Now I'm going to Target. I came home to drop off the two packages that I had. And since I'm taking an Uber, it's just easier from my apartment. I think I want to try a new Starbucks drink today. Just for the fun of it. It's like a pumpkin drink, which I'm not into. But I kind of want to just try it. Because people have been saying that they're really into this pumpkin drink. Even though they're not into pumpkin things. Which is like me. I'm just curious. It's like a chai latte, which I don't like chai latte. So I don't know how that's going to go. But it's like a chai latte with pumpkin cold foam or something like that. It's I think 5.30 p.m. So I hope it's not too crowded. I have a feeling it's going to be, but we're gonna get it done anyway. I dig it. I wouldn't order it again, I don't think, but it's not as bad as some other drinks that I've tried because of other people's recommendations that I definitely didn't like. It's possible, it's doable. Let me get out of here before they catch me. These are super cute. A little heavy, but I like them. Might get this little fish. It's cute. I like this plate, but they only have one. Let's see what we got. Update, I'm actually really loving it. 
think it tastes better once it's all like mixed in together and I'm getting pillows, blanket, and all the snacks are underneath. I cannot be trusted going to Target alone. I need to be stopped. snacking kind of mood oreo thins lemon oreo maple cream i've never tried those they're limited edition flavor i don't know someone posted this fruit and nut milk chocolate and i was like that looks really good some milk chocolate gummy bears the most unhealthy haul which calls for alka-seltzer heartburn those are not for me but i also got this really comfy cozy throw it's so soft it just feels like heaven i obviously have to fold this blanket it doesn't go like this it looks kind of crazy like that but this one is really nice for the summer because it's lightweight and almost has like a cool feeling to it and i just love that it's like a bright white usually i have this just folded nicely neatly on the couch but i wanted to get something cozy to cuddle up on the couch with so that's why i got the one from target this one is from home goods apparently my wi-fi doesn't work if it's hidden in the basket so i'm trying to figure out like a solution to this because every time i hide my router slash modem my wi-fi doesn't work so it's like it has to be out and it's such an eyesore so i'm still figuring that out which is why i have that mess there but i also got these really large pillows from target and i just love how bright these are so you can see the difference in color that's more of a cream this is more of a white and i just love how like fluffy but like firm it is it's definitely a lot firmer than this one this one's from jc penny and it's like squishy and i feel like it's already kind of losing its shape so i figured i would get new pillows my mom was saying i should still keep those just because maybe they'll like tie in the colors and you know they're not in terrible condition but maybe i'll just spruce them up and fix up the couch a little bit obviously take off the tags and arrange them better i also have to fix the rug i finally got my rug back after getting it cleaned and i don't know if it's me but i feel like it shrunk a little bit but i have to just arrange it and position it better how i had it before so that it's better under the couch the thing about this space is that i can't get a really large rug just because i have my vanity here and this area can get messy with makeup so i don't want a rug over there and i want to like you know differentiate that space and then coming here you have like this little walkway so i do wish i had a larger rug but for this space right now this is just what i'm working with i just have to position it better so it's not so off because that's obviously driving me crazy i actually have a client coming in like less than an hour so i have to hurry up clean up whenever you have any guests coming over especially if it's their first time coming over your place you want to have it you know somewhat decent organized smelling good so i'm gonna light a candle clean up and get ready for her so this is the last portion of today's vlog i wanted to sit down and go through the bath and body works items that i got that i picked up they were having a sale it was buy one get one free for the candles and then they i feel like they always have the wallflowers on sale and the room sprays i'm actually burning a candle right now that i purchased right before that sale this is lakeside morning i'm trying to be careful because it's lit it says crisp autumn air white driftwood hint of green apple with essential oils i've purchased lakeside morning a couple of times i really enjoy it it's clean and it's fresh and i don't really smell the apple too much but it just smells like a crisp autumn day there actually is a candle called i think crisp autumn morning or crisp autumn day but to me this smells more like that than that candle so i picked up some wallflowers i always pick some of these up anytime you walk by them you can definitely smell them so this one is aloha kiwi passion fruit and as the name suggests kiwi passion fruit definitely a fruity scent and it almost smells like perfume it's very very feminine which i like this is the one i was talking about crisp morning air and this one actually smells more like men's cologne like it really smells like an axe spray which i know some people aren't into but it's very clean fresh out the shower but like a manly fresh out the shower scent where i feel like lakeside morning smells more like what this title is which is crisp morning air but this one literally just smells like cologne these two are quite similar so we have laundry day and sun drenched linen i think laundry day is a newer scent so sun drenched linen smells like fresh clean sheets it almost smells like a dryer sheet 
Oh, it just smells so good. It smells like the, not the snuggle. Is it snuggle or like the bounce? I don't know. It's like the classic dryer sheet smell. It smells so good and I love anything clean, fresh. I love laundry smells. I love shower gel smells. Like anything that smells like fresh out the shower or fresh laundry, I'm into it. And then laundry day smells less like laundry. It's so weird because sun-drenched linen smells more like laundry than laundry day. But laundry day also smells so good. Also just fresh and clean. But it has just like a touch of something else that I can't figure out that just doesn't make it as like linen smelling these were blind buys i bought these online before i went in to get the candles and i love them all so i'm happy that i really read the descriptions i feel like i have a pretty good judgment even when buying online sometimes i'll get a dud like i'll read reviews i'll think i'll like it but then i get it and i don't so i actually exchanged a candle i think it was called welcome home which is so crazy because Jacqueline Hill just said she like is obsessed with it. I could not stand it. So I have three new room sprays. These are so strong. You literally need one spray and it will fill up a room. This first one is Champagne, Apple, and Honey, which is a new scent for them. These are so strong. I'm like risking my lungs. Champagne, Apple, and Honey is like a crisp, clean, comforting scent. And then the honey just gives it a little touch of warmth. So I really, really like it. It also smells kind of feminine, almost like a perfume. I really like this one. They do have a candle, Champagne, Apple, and Honey, but they don't have it online. Love the packaging on this one. I mean, they're all really cute. This is like a wood kind of packaging, and this one has like the black marble. This is Eucalyptus Rain. I figured this one would be better for like a bathroom. Eucalyptus Rain, you know, like that spa-like scent. This one is very strong. I don't really smell the eucalyptus. I don't know. It's like a very fresh rain shower kind of scent, kind of like a breath of fresh air in a way and then i also got aloha kiwi passion fruit in the room spray i actually also purchased these online so i really just got the candles in store the day of the bogo sale but when i was reading the reviews on this someone said it smelled like ariana grande cloud perfume which is a dupe for baccarat and i don't necessarily agree with that i mean maybe a little bit like the fruitiness but this is like just straight up tropical fruity vibes this gives me like young feminine energy <laughs> i don't know why like it reminds me of like a spray they would have like to wear so i guess that's why they compared it to a perfume but it's very very fruity and it just kind of makes me feel energized so that's why i got that one now let's quickly run through these candles first up we have frozen lake and i typically don't like it when they have like so much of a color like the candles i like typically more of like a neutral candle but it is what it is I can definitely smell eucalyptus in Frozen Lake, and it does have eucalyptus. This smells more like eucalyptus than the eucalyptus rain. I feel like their names be a little bit off, but Frozen Lake smells like a little bit menthol, like a very winter scent. Like it feels like you're going ice skating in like an all white outfit, like a slick bun. I don't know why, but Frozen Lake just reminds me of like winter. So it has lavender, cool eucalyptus, juniper berries, and essential oils. It kind of smells like something to like open up your senses with the lavender and the eucalyptus. It smells like it's winter, your nose is stuffed, and that's gonna help you out. Next up, we got a popular one. This is Champagne Toast. This has bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine. And it definitely just smells like trident orange gum, like very, very, very fruity and very feminine. Definitely smell that tangerine and the berries in there. Really nice if you're looking for like a girly scent. This one's really, really good, Champagne Toast. This one is also really cute. This one is Cozy Cashmere. Also has that pink. This has smooth lavender, vanilla, and sandalwood. So lavender, vanilla, sandalwood, I feel like this one would be a popular combination. And I remember smelling this and just feeling like, <sighs> Like it just smells so soothing. It's just a very relaxing, comforting scent. And I guess it's that blend with the lavender and the sandalwood. It's like a musky, relaxing scent. Really, really good, but also more on the feminine side. So that one is Cozy Cashmere. This one is a Sparkling Pear Riesling. So I typically like scents with apple and pear. It adds that fresh, crisp scent to it. So this has fresh pear slices, juicy white grapes, and a sweet Riesling with essential oils. This one also smells like a gum. This smells like the Trident. I think it's like the green gum. The fruity green gum. I know you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> There's an orange and a green. They're both extremely fruity. Like I cannot chew those ever. But I like fruity or fresh scents when it comes to my candles. And typically I just go for fresh. But they didn't really have too many like clean fresh scents that weren't too intoxicating. Like I cannot do the super manly candles anymore. They just are too intense for me. Like I know everyone loves mahogany teak wood. But I just can't. I just cannot anymore like i've burned way too many in my life and i just like it almost makes me sick smelling those so i think i'm going for more of like a more feminine fruity vibe for the candles see this next one is honey crisp apple golden honey crisp 
apple blossom and fresh sugar cane. I'm telling you, I'm really like in an apple kind of mood. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. You're apple picking with the love of your life and things are just good. And they smell good and you're gonna have some fresh apple juice. Like a bag of fresh cut apples, like different types, all cut open. It just smells so, so good. Like I can eat this scent. It makes me want to eat an apple. So honey crisp apple, definitely like that. And the last one that I got is crisp morning air, which I did get the wallflower of. So it's a crisp fall breeze, white oak, golden amber wood, saffron, and soft sandalwood. So I switched the cap when I was in the store because I liked this cap better. And I regret it because this definitely belonged to a candle that I would never buy. It's just like pure fall sweetness, like just like a pumpkin something, and I don't know why I did that. I literally just did it because of the cap. But now my candle is smelling like the cap, but once I burn it, it won't. A trick to smell the candle is to actually rub it with your finger. An associate told me that one time. Then you'll get like the scent. So when I first smelled it, it smelled like that pumpkin nastiness that I don't like over there, but it just smells like the wallflower. It smells like a men's cologne, like a crisp, fresh, out the shower hunk that you just want to hug. This is crisp morning air. I'm going to have to use one of the caps that I have, like the extra caps, and not use this one because I'm not feeling that. Sorry if this vlog was a little more laid back. Honestly, it's really just like me running errands or working. The fact that I don't drive and I'm not like driving to run my errands, it's kind of harder to vlog, but I hope you guys didn't mind that it wasn't like a super glam vlog. It was just, you know, real life things. I wanna start incorporating maybe some clients, even taking a picture of my clients, like my clients get very shy even if I'm just taking a picture for like Instagram, but I would like to vlog that because I think that would be really cool and something different, like showing you the after, you know, how I do their makeup. But a lot of them I don't even get to post because it's like the same look or, you know, they were too shy for the picture. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog nonetheless, even though it was a little more chill and I wasn't doing as much. I'm definitely back into the groove of vlogging again and it feels really good. And now that the holidays are coming up, I definitely want to vlog more. So definitely stay tuned for my next one i'm gonna try to come up with some really fun things to do on a vlog and have more of my friends on here just so you guys can you know hang out with us <laughs> i know you guys miss my mom a ton and coco so hopefully i get to visit florida soon again so that you guys can see a little more of them i miss them like you can't imagine this has pretty much been my quarantine life i'm usually alone and i'm usually running errands so if i'm not eating I'm running errands, getting things done, you know, going to doctors or buying candles or doing clients. Like I'm trying to keep myself busy. The giveaway that I'm going to be doing, I'm actually going to post it on my Instagram and in another video because this video is already really long and I want to properly set that up. So I'll have the giveaway coming very, very soon. Like I have everything set out. So definitely just keep an eye out and definitely follow me on Instagram and be subscribed to my channel so you can get an alert. If you made it this far, I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.